What's happening, everybody? It's me, your resident supervillain, Mr. Jay Washington, and I am back with my official review for Shane Black's The Predator. Now, most of you all probably haven't seen this. I'm not gonna wait to release this, so I'm letting you know already there will be spoilers, and if you've seen my reaction on pretty much Instagram and Twitter, you already know how I feel about this movie. It is bad. <laughs> It is so bad. Um, let me give it to you the reasons why it's bad, which will be some of the spoilers. The CGI in the film is terrible. It is awful. It is so bad that it makes no sense. Of course, we saw in the trailers the Predator versus the Super Predator, and the Super Predator looks just so bad in so bad, so bad on screen, it is ridiculous. The CGI threw a lot. The Predator dogs look ridiculously horrible, okay? The character development, the story arcs, this, this movie becomes several different movies again. For some reason, that is the common trope with a lot of films. Now, yes, everybody had high hopes when they heard Shane Black was doing it. Then they saw the trailer was like, possibly. And then the next trailer, you were like, oh no. And all the oh no reserves were correct. How do I explain this movie? Um, Travante Rhodes tries his hardest, he does, give him credit for that. Um, Keegan-Michael Key's whole point is to make terrible ass jokes. That's it. Thomas Jane, is his character has Tourette's. There's nothing funny about Tourette's, I do know this. However, things they do, what they do with his Tourette's, there's a scene in the motel where after Olivia Munn's character, who by the way, chases a fucking predator on foot. Listen to those words. When the fuck has anybody ever chased the predator on foot successfully? She does. I mean, keeping up with him beat for beat. You're fucking telling me Olivia Munn is really a mutant, but instead of having a psionic blade, she just got super speed? Get the whole fuck out of here, okay? She's chasing him with a tranquilizer dart too, by the way, because they originally captured the predator. But I'll go back to King Michael, I mean, Thomas Jane's character. There's a scene where all of the group that we see in the uh, on the bus in the trailers, King and Michael Key, Alfre Allen, um, Trevante Rose, Boy Hoever, and Thomas Jane. I forgot the other guy's name. They after Olivia Munn shoots herself in the foot with a tranquilizer dart. They take it to a motel room because they're trying to run it from the cops, basically, and the military to get you know to get some rest and try to figure out the plan. They realize it is a fucking alien. So when she wakes up, all these dudes put little tidbits by her in the bed, one puts a, like a flower, one puts a car, one makes a foil unicorn to make her quote unquote feel comfortable. And then they start having bets because these are the loony bears of soldiers, what she's gonna do after she gets up. They put an empty shotgun on the side, she jumps up, tries to grab it, cock it, Boyd Holbrook tries to struggle it from her, then she cocks, the, she cocks the, uh, the trigger, doesn't shoot, and they were like, I told you she'd do that. Like, are you fucking serious? But here's where the Thomas Jane part comes in. She's, Olivia Hunt's, Munn's about to leave the hotel room and then Thomas Jane's Tourette's <laughs> kicks in. I shouldn't be laughing, I should. The reason I'm laughing is because his Tourette's kicks in and he says, e eat your pussy. And for five minutes, him and Olivia Munn go back and forth. You said you're gonna eat my pussy? Eat your pussy. No, eat, uh, shit's a pussy, it's a pussy. I'll, and I'm like, are we seriously doing this? We're seriously doing this. It, it just goes back and forth. And I laughed so much because of how bad stuff was. Olivia Munn never changes her face the entire film. Boyd Holbrook was like, I'm just going to hope for the best. I'm going to shoot for the stars and hope for the best. Jacob Tremblay uh, as Rory McKenna is amazing. He plays a kid who he's basically Boyd Holbrook's son. He's on the autism spectrum. Now, I will sympathize with that because I have a daughter who is on the spectrum. My daughter is what you consider high functioning. And... In the movie, Olivia Munn's character does say that many people don't see autism as a disease. They see it as the next evolutionary step in humans because they say those with autism, children with autism, is brains are more developed. Their brains are more developed. And I'm a firm believer of it, you know, again, being a parent of one. But the way he plays the character and delivers it, you can tell Rory is a genius, even though we may consider him on the spectrum. And he is basically who the Predator is after because he's a hero. Because again, the Predators are trying to evolve themselves into better, stronger creatures. <sighs> you see how I keep telling y'all like nine different stories? That's, what, that's what this movie is. 
the the point is the original Predator. We start out with the original Predator. We start look, we start out with two spaceships, right? One has one Predator, another has another, and one Predator ship goes through a, a vortex or whatever, a, a rips the fabric of space time, whatever, and comes to Earth, crashes. You find out he stole something that the other Predator is trying to get, and what he stole is a Predator killer. Now, here's the fucked up thing at the very end, because I don't even want to talk about this movie too much longer. At the end, which was originally supposed to have been a post credit scene, they decided not, they decided against that, we see what the Predator Killer is. So it's this device, you see a pod, right? Because the pod was released earlier. The pod finally opens up, and it's this little device, it looks dormant, it just sits there, and a the doctor, a little nerdy white doctor's like, well, it looks dormant. The thing goes, it latches on to dude's arm, and it turns him into a mechanical predator with pistols out and everything. And you were like, are you motherfucking serious? And then it comes back off and it's like, well, we think we've got our weapon. And then Boyd Holbrook's character, well, they said we have a weapon. And then Boyd Holbrook's character looks at one of the doctors, and the doctor looks at Boyd, excuse me, he was like, well, what do you think about it? He says, doc, I think I got my new suit. If that is just set up for the next Predator, don't you fucking do this movie. Don't you do it. I, I can say it's so much more that it's just horrible all the way around. It's like the dialogue. They try to reference so many times all the old Predator movies. Olivia Munn's character goes and sees a Predator lying down in the lab that we saw in the, in the trailer with uh, Sterling K. Brown. And she looks at him and says, and I quote, you are one beautiful motherfucker. What? What? There's a part where they're running and Trevante Rhodes character yells out, get to the chopper. I hate you all. I hate the writers of this film because that script is terrible. Whoever decided to do some of the casting, you need to be reevaluated. Again, I am a person who has been in TV and films. I know that you want to use name recognition to bring value to your film. You have a property such as The Predator, which is legendary, and you want to make sure you're putting a cast, in, an ensemble in it that's going to help sell this film. That's cool. But you also need to have a film that's worth selling. And that is not this. I know I swore a lot in this, but that's how upset and frustrated I am because I am a Predator fan, okay? I love Predator, Predator 1 with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Predator 2 with Danny Glover, AVP, I act like it didn't happen. If you bring up AVP Requiem to me, I will fight you in the streets and I don't get past Adrian Brody's nose in Predators. However, when it comes to the Predator, I am deeply disappointed, okay? This is a multi, million dollar project from a major studio that should have invested in this project that should have put money and time and care into this project and it didn't it just wanted to have something out there and for that it's gonna fail uh, look if you were a fan <coughs> excuse me if you're a brand new fan you may love this if you're a brand new fan you've never seen predator predators or anything predator 2 you may love this but if you are a diehard fan, if you grew up with this character, you are not gonna like this. You're gonna be very upset. And that's just my personal opinion. Again, everybody's opinion ain't the same. So this is what I need you to do. Like, share, leave your comments below. Let me know if you saw it, if you like it, if you didn't like it, if you wish they never even did this. But again, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. J Washington, M R J A Y Washington. Make sure you join my Patreon, patreon.com slash Mr. J Washington. Join my supervillain squad. I got a bunch of giveaways I'm about to give away through that, but you gotta be a member. It's only $5, all right? Also, check out the Mad Titan Podcast. Mad Titan Podcast is at madtitancast.com. Check that out. I have a bunch of dope stuff over there. Uh, I got a recap episode of I did with Fan at FNX Salt Lake Comic Convention with Jay Whitaker. It's a crossover episode between the Mad Titan and the Incredibly Vocal Minority Podcast. So I want you to check that out. All right. And I have my other two episodes. The next episode, next official Mad Titan episode will be coming out. It should have came out today. It's a little bit of a delay, but it will be coming out soon. So I need you to check that out. All right. I will holler at you guys later. Take care. I'm out of here. Peace.